more surprising to you? The top half of the ninth, where Trace Dempsey, as, as the best closer in the league by far, gives up a run, or that they get it back by, let me make sure I have this right, a bloop shot, yeah. a sack bunt, intentional walk, walk, hit by pitch, called back, turned into a walk. I think the end, because I know Dylan Vote pretty well. I've seen him pitch uh, earlier in the season and the year before. This young man, he, he is a very fierce competitor, and for him to end it that way, it's frustrating for him, but that's what happens when you leave a pitcher with no margin for error. It's, all the calls were right, but it was just a tough situation to be in. This is a Nebraska team that came in red hot, mm -hmm. scoring, had 11 runs in the game yesterday. Let's show you how they put up such a big fight against the second seeded Ohio State Buckeyes in their first game at Target Field of this Big Ten tournament. Bottom of the second, two outs, runner on third. That's an RBI single for Zach Ratcliffe. Brad Hallberg scores, and the Buckeyes take an early 1 0 lead. Top of the fifth, we go two outs now. Michael Pritchard, how big is he? Well, he's not quite six feet tall, but he was huge in this game. <laughs> Thank you for taking that literally. That score is a run. We're tied at one. We'll get more on Pritchard in a bit. That's an RBI triple for him. Bottom of the fifth, two outs, 2-0 -oh count. This is Joe Siamanco slicing it to left, but there's your guy Pritchard again with a nice catch. And he made a nice catch. Made it maybe a little more difficult than it needed to be, but he made the catch. Jacob Bosiokovic, an RBI single to right. Troy Kuhn comes in to score for OSU. It's a 2-1 to one lead for the Buckeyes. Still in the bottom of the sixth. One out, looking for more. We've got two in scoring position. Mike Carroll to left field. And here's your guy, Pritchard. Grabs it, chucks it. Toast. Should know better than to run on him. The young man had a nice running start in and made a great throw. Top of the ninth, we've got two out. Ty Kidlow steals second, a bad throw. Nebraska's in scoring position. Man on second, and this is Trace Dempsey. Far and away, the most saves in the Big Ten gives up the Brian Peters RBI single to left, and the ball game is tied. The bottom of the ninth will now happen. So it's two to two in the ninth. No outs. Lead off batter. Just a little bloop. New center fielder can't really see it, so that counts as a hit. Ball is lost in the sun. We've got a man on. Eventually, we would get the bases loaded. We would get a sack bunt, an intentional walk, and a walk. This is Troy Kuhn now. Hit by pitch. No, they say he leaned into it, so the game continues. But sure enough, you don't have to get a ball deep. You don't have to get a single. Just have to have a good eye. And he did. Dylan Vogt wasn't real close with any of his pitches. In that scenario, you could see the pressure, and he succumbed to it. Three to two, your final score. The same score we had in our first game. Uh, let's check in from site now. It's Minneapolis. We go Lisa Byington is standing by. All right, thank you very much for Brad Goldberg. You've found some success lately in your last few outings. Where have you found that success the most? Well, I just made a couple of adjustments to my mechanics. My arm's been feeling a lot better lately and uh, it's trying to execute. This is a crunch time and I know I had to step up as a leader senior Friday night. So a lot of mechanical stuff and just a lot of, a lot of grit. Nebraska was threatening a little bit more in the fourth, fifth, and sixth innings. How were they attacking you differently in those middle innings than at the beginning of the game? Well, it was different this time. I faced them at their place, and they got they got me pretty good. That was probably my second worst start of the year, so I had to make some adjustments. Thought about that game. They were uh, they were just being a little bit more patient, and the ump was squeezing me a lot. So had to just had to tough it out. Nothing new. They're, they're pretty good adjustments on offense. Might be the best in the league. Troy Coon had some key defensive stops there while you were on the mound, and then he draws the bases loaded walk that ends up winning the game. Any special thanks you give to him in the dugout afterwards? Tons. Troy picked us up big. I know uh, Sipes out. Ryan Siper with his uh, with his hand, but Troy's picked us up all year, and he's uh, played a great game tonight. All right. Thanks for the time. We appreciate it.